We're here at Infocom 2012 in the AMX booth. A lot of what we're talking about is our Nova solutions and how, it's, how they help to deliver immediate and effective communication to all of our end users, really make their lives a lot simpler and, and more efficient with technology. In this part of the booth, we're talking about a couple different technologies. First of all, we're talking about our Instigate Pro technology. And that really takes care of all the worries that we've had in the past with HDMI and HTCP protected content. Um, one of the things it does is it takes away all of our worries about HTCP keys. So now, no matter how many keys our devices have, it's going to just work. Um, really, t it has no tools that are associated with it. There's no configuration that you need to do in the field. There's uh, the switching is all instant, so there's no waiting between switches. And also, it um, takes care of all our worries about the HTCP keys. So it really helps in a lot of different ways. It's going to save you time and money in the design because now I don't have to do a bunch of research and learn about my source devices. I don't have to know how many HTCP keys it has. So that saves us a lot of time up front. And then in the install, it's going to save us a lot of time and money because we're going to be able to get in and out of jobs. There's no tools that we need to learn about. There's no configuration we're going to need to do on site. There's no extra programming that I'm going to have to do in to you know, get around the problem of having a, a certain number of HTCP keys. So it's going to help us in a lot of different ways. Um, another one of the technologies that were shown here is our DXLink technology. DXLink is our category cable transport technology for all of our different audio and video sources. So now, whether it's HEMI or DBI or, or even an analog source, we can take it into one of our transmitter boxes, send it out over Cat5, um, or at really any category cable, um, out to our displays. And go up to 100 meters, saves us a lot of, again, it's going to save us a lot of time and money, first of all, in the design because now we don't have to worry about what s signal types each of our sources have. We can just pull Cat5 for everything. And then, really, a lot of times we're going to be able to even use the existing infrastructure in a lot of rooms. And then, of course, in the field, it's going to save us a ton of money and time because category cable is pretty much the most cost-effective cable we can pull. It's really simple to terminate. Everyone knows how to use it. Um, really, really simple to use. So that's a huge uh, time and money saver there. And the final technology we're really showing here are our ICS LAN boxes. Um, we've had a lot of boxes in the past that do something similar, but we, really we've never had anything that's so simple as ICS LAN. Now, any device that's on, uh, on uh, any device at all, whether it's a, a projector or a display or, or whatever it is, whatever type of control ports it has, now we can make it an Ethernet enabled box. Um, so anywhere we have Ethernet, we can put an ICS LAN box and extend the capabilities of our control system. Whether it's uh, serial or IR or any type of control you need, we can just add that on with an ICS LAN box. Saves you a lot of time and money. Again, in design, we don't necessarily need to, if I need to get a control on the other side of this building and I need to go more than 50 feet or whatever the RS-232 specification is, as long as I've got LAN over there, I can hang a serial box over there and, and control my device. Um, it's really cost effective uh, from a programming standpoint because I don't necessarily have to do master to master communication. I don't have to have a, couple, a bunch of different Netlinks masters. A lot of times I can just use a single Netlinks master and extend the control of our ICS LAN boxes.